Hey, it's MK Silver Sax, and I'm here with some Forza Motorsport 7. Forza! Forza Combat! Wait a minute, no, that's not right. Ah, close enough. Anyway, uh, so I've got this really, really cool, uh, what is it, GTS, uh, HSV GTS, I think it's like 2011 or something, let me, let me take a look at, uh, at the actual specs here. Yeah, it's the 2011 HSV GTS, 437 horsepower, this is, this is basically the, uh, Holden's, you know, version of the, uh, the Chevy SS, and of course, it's in this awesome green metallic color. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Um, it's like a, really like a, kind of like a Kelly green. Really neat looking. Anyway, um, going to be doing a couple laps around the track here. We are at Sebring International Raceway. And of course, this car is manual transmission. True manual transmission with clutch. Ooh, we got some heat lines coming off the track today. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Man, this car is planted. This is nice. Uh-oh. No, I did the wrong thing. Woo. Oh, MK, why did you do that? For shame. Ah! <laughs> Agonizing scream. Oh, it handles. MK's just not handling properly tonight. That's okay. The rest of the pack seems like they're, uh... They're casually going around the track, so I think I might be able to pass them pretty soon. And there's only nine of them, so... Let me keep on going off the track. Come on, man. Alright. Nah, I'm just... Yeah, this car is great. And despite uh, despite what it appears, the car actually handles well. In fact, back in the mid 2000s, uh, this was the Chevy Lumina in the other countries when, uh, well, the Lumina was actually discontinued here in the states. And that was interesting because it was like, oh, a Lumina, so you know, four door sedan. And, uh, Corvette engine? What? I'm glad they were able to bring the SS to the States, but unfortunately... What was it? 2017 was its last year? So, no more of that. Doesn't look like that's a Hellcat charger in front of me.
Man, it is having a hard time going around the turns. That AI. Yeah, it's pretty bad AI. But like I said in uh, my stream yesterday, I've I've come to accept and learn that the AI in the Forza games was not great and just kind of go with the flow. No video game is going to be perfect. The heck is oh man it's been forever since i've seen one of those the BM bmw z3 hatchback is that what that thing is do you remember those things do you remember the old z3 from the 90s yeah so they had no it's the hatchback version it's the it's the version that makes it look like a little uh station wagon Yeah, these are long years, man. It probably also doesn't help that uh, I also pull it past the the point where I should maybe shift, but, you know. I want to keep it in the power band as much as possible. You hear a voice? On my end? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a... Uh, I don't think there's anything going on in the background, unless uh, a TV's on or something. Are you hearing it right now? Wow, this car is a beast. So much fun. Engine sounds great, too. I think it's the uh, a variation of the uh, LS3. What a good engine.
Yeah, it's essentially like the uh, 2011 Pontiac uh, G8 GXP. Or G8 GT or whatever. Which is a fine, fine car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would take one of those. Yeah, like the GTO. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're getting my own loot back? Weird. Oh, because are you watching the stream? You must have it on someplace. Oh! Oh, I had it on my phone. I just couldn't hear it. That, that was my phone, I think. Yeah, that's probably it. Thanks for letting me know, yeah. But I bet it was really light. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, it looks like we have uh, some more viewers coming in. Thank you guys very much for joining. Feel free to say hi in the live chat. I'm actually going to end this right now. But all right, that was fun. It's uh, but I think it's time to try one of the other HSV cars because, well, they are just so fun. All right. So the question is. Should I get, should I claim my 50,000 free credits or should I claim a Ferrari 365 GTB4 that normally would cost 400,000 credits, but I can get it for zero credits. And I'm sitting here going, I don't know if I will ever drive that Ferrari. I'd be happier with the money. Well, there are probably some fans out there screaming, No! But whatever. If I really wanted it, I'd just buy it. Virginia International Raceway. Maybe. Maybe that. I just feel like there's another raceway that could possibly be decent for this. Maybe Spa. Circuit du Spa, Franco Champs. Eh, two laps? Two laps? Yeah, two laps. Tracks is scenario night? No. Ever. Select car. Well. Scotch, scotch, scotch. I like scotch. I like it a lot. Do ya? Yes, I do. So the question is, which one should I go with right now? Should I go with the 2014 HSV Limited Edition Gen F GTS Malu, which is the, um, well, for those of you who know the Malus, those are like an El Camino, like a new newer version of the El Camino with like the pickup truck type bed in the back, or should I go with the sedan version of it? Hmm. Tough choices. I think I'm going to go with the Malou. Hmm. Yeah. But I'm going to revisit that 2011 uh, HSV GTS when I at the end of the cycle here so I'm going to uh, maybe also take a picture of that as my as my thumbnail for the video that would be that'd be nice yeah 
I've been been really trying to uh, make them all sorts of artistic. All right. I'm going to go ahead and test drive. Let's see. Hopefully this thing is regular. Yeah. Manual clutch. Now, if I remember right, the, the engine in this car is the LSA. And the LSA is like a supercharged version of the LT3. So this puts out like 560 horsepower. Oh. Note to self. I should probably take that turn a little bit slower, but uh, it could have been worse. So essentially what this car is, is the Chevy SS in the form of an El Camino. Or Pontiac G8 in the form of that. You know what I've always wondered is, um, well, the El Camino, did, did people who owned that car ever use it, like, as a pickup truck? Like, how many people used it as a utility? As, yeah? Because, yeah, like, right. Because you'd buy, I mean, it has the, the pickup truck bed you know, on the back, but, like, I'm left going, like, did, did they, how many people did that compared to how many people that just was, were like, oh, it's a muscle car, and it have, just happens to have a bed in the back, and, you know. Wonder if I could, uh, ever pop up, like, a poll on, like, an, a classic car website, and then, like, let me know, how many of you who owned one, what did, did you ever use the bed for things? You know what I bet it would be great as? Like, a road trip car where you could put like a little pop-up camper on the back. Uh, someone's a music fan. Their uh, in-game scream name, uh, scream, screen name ah! <laughs> is Master List. You know, like List, the uh, the great piano artist. Man, this thing just blew that Ferrari away. Goodbye.
What car is in first place? Oh, I think that's a 90, 1991 Corvette ZR1. If I'm not mistaken, that's the Corvette that uh, used that uh, Lotus engine. The C4? Yeah, but it's a ZR1. The, uh, it's, a, it's a 1991 ZR1, I believe. And, um... It was, it was kind of a special car because it was... They, for, I think, one or two years, uh, they had... I think it was a, a flat... Flat plane cranked engine uh, developed by Lotus. And there was like this special key or whatever that you would use. And uh, it would allow the car to be either like in a specific horsepower range or another. Like it's kind of like the, um, the Bugatti Veyron. That one's a 95. Okay, so that must be like the 95 regular 95 c4 so uh but there was um if you look up the the zr1 from 19 1991 or 1992 uh there was a like a special edition of that it's, it's a pretty cool pretty cool thing i think there there are a couple of youtube videos on it some in-depth coverage What's interesting is I think my neighbor has like three of them. Very, very interesting. Moog can vouch for me on that one. All right, well, that was a pretty cool car. You've made progress in January monthly races. Well, Fantabulous! Congratulations, you've completed January monthly raises. Hmm, nice. Alright. Go ahead and take a look at the, uh... Sport sedan version of this car. And then I would like to revisit the... 2011... version of it, because... That was fun. It felt like there was nothing. It wasn't like overpowered or anything. It was just like a super locked down car. And it did what it needed to do and uh, not a bunch of craziness. All right, let's do a one-lap Nürburgring. Not at night. I don't know why they keep on trying to put me at night. Stop that. Select car. There we go. 
Beauteous. Twenty fourteen HSV GTS in orange. Ah, yeah, you're right. In this game, it's the 95 ZR1. Yep. With 405 horsepower. Now, the... Uh, but I think the 1992 one... I mean, it was a similar similar car. I mean, the body style, I think, was very, very much alike. It's either 91 or 92. I want to say it was a 1991. Um, and that one had... Uh, like 390 horsepower, so it was cut back just a little bit, but uh, had a uh, flat, flat plane crank engine. And a lot of times those things can be revved to uh, higher, higher RPMs based on the balance of the internal mechanisms. What the heck is to my right? What is that? What? I'm driving with like a handful of monstrosities around me. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking down at my... Hold on, let me quit the race just for a second. Flat... Flat plane motor with a cross plane crank. And, uh... That was still, uh... That was still the Lotus engine, right? Because I want to say that for, for one of those years, like, it was... It was weird that GM was like, you know, hey... Going to another company for an engine, but... Okay, I'll power to you. I just love when cars bash into the back of me. Okay, I was just checking, just making sure I wasn't too crazy. What the? Damn AI, get off me. Damn it, AI! Oh, 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 oh. There's a Malu right in front of me. I can't just go ahead and pass that right away, man. That's is Gotta ride ride for a while with this thing. Nah, you know what? I don't know. We'll see. Not passing. <laughs> well, I've already invalidated my one and only lap. Oh well.
trying to initiate some sort of drift there. Not really, but I made it look like I was. All the much cooler. Now, where are my sunglasses? Yeah, not too many sedans can grab air over that jump back there. God, this thing is stock? It's scary. I want to almost venture off and say that this thing puts the power down just as well as the ZL1 Camaro. And surprisingly stable.
Wow, I'm so far ahead of the uh, the rest of the pack. I could just like take it easy through the the north lanes here. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite parts of the uh, the Nordschleife. Is the um, the part of, I believe on the north end that uh, is all types twisty. Hey, BRS, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Oh, why did I do that? No. Oh, I knew better than to do that. Well, teach me to look down at my live chat. Damn it. Yeah, I know, right? Now we're on the final uh, final stretch here. We get to open this thing up and see what it's got for uh, top speed. Well, we're at least close to it. Oh no, you're good, BRS. Don't worry about it, man. Wow. Come on, let's keep on pushing it through this turn. Nope, I'm off the road! Uh, there goes my mirror. <laughs> I messed up the driver's side of the car there. Could have been worse. got a little bit more weight than I thought, so uh, pushing it around that turn may have not been the best idea, but hey. It's a win. <laughs> wow. The driver's side of that car just mangled. <laughs> BRS, I'd still red with you even through that incident. You are a brave, brave person. Well, that is like five times I messed up there. Okay. Hoist place. All right. I think I want to go back to that, uh, that green 2011. That was a fun little car. Maybe get some photo ops for it as well. Oh, look at that. I am 370 short of leveling up. That's not very much. Well, in this game, no. Yeah. Should probably just find a way to get that level up there. You know what I mean? Hmm. Rato. <laughs> Alright, so we're back to the 2011 HSV GTS. And, uh, man, I love the rims on this thing. That's a lot of letters. It is. You know, the 
you know, to drive the LMNOP and buy the company QRS TV. All right, we're gonna do one more, uh, one more single player race here. Unless anybody out there owns this game and would like to join me, you could, you do. Let me know in chat. All right, race setup. Something, 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 something. Something, something day. There we go. The Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe. Now that. I can do. I. Hmm. How long have I, have I been streaming? Oh, 44 minutes. Okay, once I'm done with this, it'll be about 55 minutes to an hour. So, this might be my last race. Who knows? I'm going to get uh, get a race in and also make sure that we get a, a decent photo. It will be good, folks. It will be good. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button or follow button, depending on whether or not you're on YouTube or Twitch. And if you're on YouTube and you subscribe, hitting that notification icon helps a lot. So that uh, if you would like to be notified of times when I go live, and you would like to pop in, or giveaways, yeah, absolutely. Um, that you could pop in and say hi and uh, join in on the fun. Anyway, there's no need to uh, do any sort of test drive of this car, because I know how it handles. So I'm going to pop right into the race. I'm just gonna watch this silly pack of AI cars slam into each other, and then once all the dead bodies are in the field, I'll just step over them. Although, they are making it way too easy for me to pass some of them. So far, so good. Photo mode. And yes, yes, it needs to happen. Reset cosmetic damage. Taking a photo. Save and share. 
Uh, HSV GTS. Letter, 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 letter. Twenty eleven GTS. There we go. Racing and stylized. Ooh, <laughs> stylized. Go. All right, and resume. Oh, folks, I think this is going to be a good replay if I don't mess it up. <laughs> At least the first part of this race. Just kind of ease into the brakes. Don't want to overcook them. Downshift throttle blip. And get on the gas. And this thing, this car is actually okay with you just slamming the throttle to the floor, man. This is great. It is so well controlled. Not really much wheel spin. This is, this would be a heck of a car to drive in real life. It'd be fun. Oop, went off. Just a tiny bit there. Recover. There we go. Controlled drift around that corner. I didn't even have to fight the steering wheel all that much, and uh, that's actually saying a lot, considering anytime I try to do any sort of drift on a Forza game, it usually ends up pretty devastating. Third gear was a good choice around these turns. Maybe I could actually get a valid lap time this second time around. <laughs> yeah. Lap two, invalid driver's license. Ah. Keep going. They won't know.
Oh, invalidated. Dang it. No! Don't! I have to really stop looking down at my live chat. Uh, just like, oh. Well, it's in the same window. So it's technically not looking down at it. It's more like looking over at it, but the main problem is that, you know, you're going, I'm going like 150, 160 miles per hour on a back stretch and, uh... Oh, wait, now, now you have to make a turn. Oh, no, actually, I was just looking over at it. Nobody was actually typing anything. The, um... And the main issue is that uh, the Restream.io chat has been acting weird lately uh, since their new beta version of it, and it doesn't automatically scroll. You get this, you get this thing called the like, really for me. It, it always had been, and then now I get new messages like this little blue thing. I'm just like, well, that's great. Uh, somebody was asking if I was going to be playing Forza 4 or Horizon 4 tonight. Uh, probably not. I'm, I might actually call it uh, call it a night after after this race. Because um, I actually did a lot of live streaming yesterday. I did two two live streams of Forza Horizon 4, and each one of those were over an hour. So. And I've got a long day at work tomorrow, so. And then somebody else, or maybe the same person, said, nice color. I couldn't see. I have to re-scroll through my chat. But I'm going to wait until after, after the race. So I can at least watch some of the shenanigans that are, well, would be the replay of what I'm doing. And oh my gosh, I forgot to... <laughs> I am just not paying attention to what I'm doing. What? <laughs> Space. Space Force, for example. You can have music to listen to. And now my restream.io is like, oh, there's zero viewers. And I'm looking at uh, the YouTube thing, and it definitely there there are some viewers in there. <laughs> what a weird, weird little chat program. It used to work just fine. What do they do? All 
All right, so we got, uh, yeah, it was Jamal, which, uh, oh, yeah, that's right, BRS. Um, so BRS was saying, Adrian, claim your game, man. Uh, so Adrian YT, if you're, if you're around, there is a copy of Dirt Rally that you won, and, uh, I haven't heard back from you, so hit me up so you can claim the game, otherwise... I hate to say it, man, but I might, uh, I might have to redraw the giveaway. I hate to do that, but... All games must be taken. And so Jamal asked, hey, are you going to play Forza Fort tonight? So no, I'm not going to be able to do, to do that. But uh, yeah, I agree. This is a great color. I love this, this green. Uh, it's like a, like a medium green with metallic flecking. It's, it's awesome. More cars need to have this. Or other other things. Variation. You know, variation is the the spice of our automobile life. Every car that you get should be given a brand. Mm-hmm. Spin the spin the wheel, that's it. Well I I'm Yeah. Oh, you're talking about in real life? Yeah. Yeah. You cannot pick your color. One will be assigned to you. Yes. Take a personality test. You get Mary Kay Pink. Uh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh man. BRS goes text and drive. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was going. Not a good thing to do. <clears throat> and then BRS later goes, MK will pull over and text and then Start back, basically start back up and still get first place. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I should do that. Like, every time somebody's like, hey, MK, blah, 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 I just, like, pull off to the side of the road in whatever event I'm in in the game. Hold on, guys. I want to I want to be safe here. <laughs> I want to be safe here on the on the track of Circuit, Circuit de la Sarth here at the Nürb or not Nürburgring, the uh, 24 Hours Le Mans. I feel like I need to make a, a shirt for my channel. MK Silver Sax, don't Formula One in text. And just in the background have this Formula One car just in a, like a ball of fire. <laughs> A bunch of little minion pit crew guys coming out with fire extinguishers. He is on fire! Oh, you know what's another thing that I found out? Um, Streamlabs OBS is not showing my live chat anymore. What? Yeah. What the doink is this? The deuce. OBS, man, haven't I always been your friend? Why, why are you doing this to me? Why, why do you come to my house and treat me with such disrespect? <laughs> the day of my daughter's live stream. This is a digital offer I can't refuse. You wake up one day, you see a destroyed CPU next to you in your bed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and thermal paste is all over the sheets. <laughs> all of a sudden, it cuts to a, a, a picture of outside my house. <sighs> <laughs> why does my driver look yeah why does my driver look so small <laughs> I don't know maybe, maybe it's uh, maybe it's the geriatric Grand Prix or something who knows maybe Miss Daisy decided to drive her own damn car for once
<laughs> but you're right. <laughs> it really does. It really does look like my uh, my driver is like unable to look over the steering wheel and the dash. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I gotta pause. Let's uh, let's go into photo mode and take a. Yeah, you know, what in the world? What in the Sam hell is? Stop it. Quit it. Sorry, I'm being stupid. I gotta say though, the the rims on this car are just gorgeous. And norm normally I'm not like a a wheel person. Like yeah, whatever. Okay, so hey, you kinda, you are too. Am I really? Yeah, you love your wheels. Well, I mean, I like when they stick to the ground. The the the, the actual tire itself, but no. I, I like I like when they're tastefully done. I don't like when they're overdone. You know. What you don't like twenty four inch rims that are a chrome over a fender skirt like everybody puts on like customs now. Yeah. Every, every time I watch like hey you know Motor Trend or something, it's always like that. Yeah. It's just the worst wheels. Hey, at least it's not like the end of the two uh, thousands era where uh, you're not cool unless your rims were spinning by themselves. God, that was a that was a nightmare. I'm kind of glad that that phase left us spinners, mm -hmm. and uh, it's yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was just it was bad. Not only that, but it was it was the epitome of uh, the put a three thousand dollar saddle on a three hundred dollar horse at times, mm -hmm. you know. Huh. Anyway, that is that. I'm going to. Um, exit this particular race and uh i'm going to exit the internet no you one must always be plugged in no uh, all right uh. <laughs> well there goes moog in a um in a grunt of glory or whatever whatever i guess you would call that guttural scream uh. anyway <laughs> uh, thank you guys very much for joining this evening. Uh, make sure to tell your friends to come on over to the channel and pop in and say hi. Um, and I, I like when you guys are come coming in and, and talking, and we're getting these these great conversations going on, and maybe maybe getting you guys coming in and playing as well. So um, yeah, don't forget uh, have them have them subscribe, have them. Follow on Twitch as well. Hit that notification button. Because, like I said, the more followers, the more subscribers, the more we can do things like giveaways. And, uh, folks, the, the, the big goal here is I really do want to establish a little gaming community of people who really like to play along with each other. I'm not going to be one of those streamers that, um, you know, just goes, okay, I'm just going to produce my own my own content and uh that's it and uh if you if you want to watch that's great if you don't goodbye i want to i want to get people involved and i like to play with viewers as well so you know the more the merrier anyway again thank you guys very much i'll see you in the next one peace out